Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are taking a look at the brand new WWE figure authentic scale stage pop-up created by Wicked Cool Toys. Guys, the same people that brought us the authentic scale ring. This thing is actually in pair with, with, the, with the authentic scale ring. Obviously they are sold separately, but you can pick up the stage and it does go with that authentic scale ring that we got a couple years ago. I'm sure you can still put this thing together with your SmackDown and Raw main event rings. We do have the Raw version as well, but I just set up the SmackDown version because I like it better. Also, because I think I'm going to use it for vindication, man. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I, you know, obviously I can't have the SmackDown Live logo up there. I'd probably do like a green screen or something just to give it, you know, like the Titan Tron look. But I really dig it, man. Look at the ramp right there. This thing is epic. We're going to take a look at what some SmackDown guys look like up there. I'm going to go ahead and grab a figure. All right, guys. So here's Kofi Kingston on the SmackDown Live stage. And you guys can see, I mean, look how big this thing is. You got the nice ramp on there. It is, you know, it's got the depth to it and everything. SmackDown Live up there. I mean, this thing is massive, guys. Like, let's just take a little look. It fills up the entire backstage area. You guys can see it's pretty tall as well. And I mean, it looks great. I'm, I'm very excited for this thing. It's very easy to put together. You get the little baggie there, and uh, it does come in the baggie. It's all separated into individual pieces, and uh, what you do is you take it and you break it down. I tried to time-lapse it, but it was kind of difficult getting it all together. But you guys can see it has the holes, and you just plug all the little uh, end pieces. All the little pieces have, like, some little end pieces like so, and and you just plug those into the holes that are provided there. You got to punch out like 152. Like, look at how many, look at how many of these things I have. I have like 160 of these little uh, cardboard cutout things. But anyways, you take those, you poke out the holes, you plug it in, and now you have a nice WWE action figure stage, man. And it's not going to cost you a lot of money. It's very cheap over Ringside Collectibles, guys. If you want to grab one of these, you like what you see already, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use the promo code MD Toys. You'll save an additional 10%. Grab some figures while you're over there. Tons of great stuff on pre-order. But I'm really really excited for this thing, man. I mean, it looks fantastic. It looks great, and I really want to put it in the arena. I really do want to go in there, but I mean, it would be a mess. It would be an absolute mess, because right now I have, you guys know, we're still in the Madison Square Garden Arena. We got the two levels on each side of the stage, and I feel like it'd be really messy getting this thing in here, but I think moving forward after this episode of Vindication, episode 15 and, or no, episode 14 and 15 of Vindication, we'll probably have this stage on it, and maybe we can make shift something up and make the raw one pink. I don't know what I can do. I doubt. I mean, it's cardboard. What can you do? I mean, besides like maybe taping images of the of the graphics photoshopped. I don't know how it would work, but the SmackDown Live Authentic Stage looks looks great, man. I'm going to do a little side angle here so you guys can see sort of what it looks like a little bit better. You guys can see it's three-dimensional. I mean, it looks freaking great. I mean, you just come down the ramp, doozy doozy do comes down the thing. I believe they can pose on the ramp, you know, walking down the ramp there. One thing I will say is I think that, you know, it kind of has some stability problems at times, but if you take your time with it and you're not just slamming figures on it, it will work. Again, guys, it is cardboard, so I mean, you can't just you know, be rough and housing with it, but it looks great for photographs. I've seen some people already do some really cool pictures, but there's your WWE Champion. Is he gonna retain tonight, guys? Is he going to beat my boy Dolph Ziggler? We'll have to see. I'm gonna be cheering for Ziggler, but look at this shot right here. I mean, it looks epic. Um, the only complaints I have is maybe the, that sturdiness that I'm talking about. It's not the most sturdy thing, and I don't think that you can actually pose them down the ramp. Let's say you're doing some pick petting and stuff. I really don't know. Depending on the figure, I guess, it would have to depend on the figure, but I think if you put them like this, I think gravity takes apart and they just they kind of fall over so I don't know we'll have to see about that testing out different figures and things of that nature when you know uh, posing it and stuff like that but I really do dig it man I, re I really do like it you know you can go down the front of the ramp there you know one foot on the back one foot on the front but I think it needs to be maybe a little bit more leveled maybe a little bit straightened out it would work better but uh, I really like this maybe you could customize it come in here add a curtain on either side if you wanted to it's not you know mandatory obviously they don't give it to you but you could do it if you wanted to take it a step further. I think somebody sells on eBay. They sell like the gorilla position. So maybe if you set this thing up, guys, we could have like the SmackDown stage here. We can get that 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 gorilla position uh, backstage setup that somebody has on eBay. Make a whole gorilla area and then have the backstage area. If you really wanted to do that, I bet you you could. And besides the stability problem, guys, I really can't find an issue with it. I mean, it's really nice. You can see the colors pop up nicely. Really simple to put together. Like I said, it comes with a little instruction manual. On the back here, guys, you can see all you have to do is match up the letters with the letters and then just insert the, the things, and it, it works out pretty well. We also have the crowd setup that I'm going to go ahead and show you now because it goes in hand-in-hand -hand with this. If you want 
to create the full arena effect, man, you can really do it. Maybe we can do like a full arena setup with uh, Vindication and, you know, with this stage and the, the new crowd looking stuff. But anyways, let me go ahead and grab that crowd setup. So here's the crowd setup, guys. You will see that it's pretty much just like the SmackDown Live. I mean, look at it compared to the stage. I mean, it's pretty tall. It goes about the same height there. You can see it says WWE Live on the little banister. And it's the same thing. You take the little pieces. It has like a whole chart for you to plug in the holes. And this is what you're looking at. It does come with two in each package. So you don't just get one. You get two levels. They did, Ringside did send us two of them. So I would have four total. You know, put them on the back side. I would say probably across from the hard cam would probably be the best way. Or maybe pairing it with the extreme sets would be cool. I'm not sure because they have the, you know, they have different backgrounds. So, I mean, I don't know if you would want to do that. But I mean, they look good, man. I like the realism to the crowd. You know, if you had some depth to it, you add some uh, figures in front of it, you could really give it that full arena effect. But overall, I'm really digging it, man. I really like it. But yeah, guys, I had to set up the SmackDown Live stage, right? I couldn't set up the Monday Night Raw. When I mean, I can't even make it through a freaking episode of Monday Night Raw without falling asleep or changing the channel when Trash Corbin comes on. So, I mean, I had to set up the blue one. And again, I would love to know your thoughts, guys. Shouldn't I use this for vindication? I mean, I think it would look freaking badassery with this up there, you know, up front at the MDT Arena. Just looking freaking fresh as hell. I, I think it would be really nice. So, we have the authentic scale stage pop up here, guys. Remember when Mattel showed it off? What was it? Access or something? They had that big, nice stage. And they said, would you like a stage? And then I guess they ended up getting us this cardboard one instead of like a plastic nice one with LED lights. I don't know if that's in the works or what. I mean, with Mattel apparently going under, I guess we're never going to get that. Or maybe Wicked Cool Toys could pump it out. I'm not sure. But I do like this thing, man. I really highly suggest you pick it up, especially if you like to, you know, run pick feds or you really enjoy, you know, making like setups and stuff like that, man. You These make your setups very nice. They make your arenas look extra over the top. I mean, you guys can see here how beautiful it looks. Again, I wish I could put it in the MDT arena, man. It, it would just require a whole lot of stuff, man. I'm talking about, I would have to move both of those things. You know what? Let's go to the MDT arena so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about right here. I mean, look at this right here. We got Vindication set up. You can see Rusev Day in the ring, Aiden, Aiden English and Rusev. You guys will see what's going on there. But we still have the MDT Royal Rumble set up because we're still in Madison Square Garden, right? So if I were to put that SmackDown Live stage here, I would have to remove all of this, the Royal Rumble stage, the two Titan Trons, both of these levels. You guys can see I built these levels with the with the things set up. The guardrails are set up there and there, and I'd have to move all of that trash, and I'm just not into it right now. You guys can see that's the money shot right there. Can you imagine having that SmackDown Live ring right there? I mean, it would look beautiful with the Vindication ring. I mean, it would set it off beautifully, especially with the barricade and the floor and everything, the freaking the announce table over here. Look at that right there. The Vindication announce tables, all this arena set up with that SmackDown Live stage, guys. It's definitely going to set it up at the top. We'll definitely do an updated arena video once we, uh, you know, get out of this uh, arena that we're in right now because we're trying to finish Vindication and MDT Live. Once those two episodes are done, we will move on to uh, you know, the regular episodes and we can get out of this arena, change up the setup and do an updated arena tour video. But this is why I cannot put the SmackDown Live stage in the actual arena. But anyways, guys, that is the reason why I cannot put that SmackDown Live stage in there. It would look epic. You know it would, but maybe we can do it in another video. But I'm still going to take some epic shots, guys. You will see in the thumbnail with the with the stage here and the Kofi Kingston and everything. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Definitely, if you find the stage entertaining, you like it, you want to purchase it, guys. You like the crowd setup right here. If you like either one, guys, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. Also, a ton of pre-orders over there. Elite Series 69, some new basics, a lot of great stuff over there for pre-order. And if Mattel is actually going under, guys, you definitely want to grab up as many Mattel figures as possible before the scalpers get to them and run those prices wild on us. So, you definitely want to do that. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Excuse me for that. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you